Today is a really big day and that is because we are officially getting started with our nesting series. I'm so excited for this. I've been trying to push it off as long as possible, but at the same time, I don't want to wait too long to where I like physically can't do these things. So I am currently 31 weeks pregnant and we are starting the nesting series. So today we are in our bedroom, which is where our baby girl is going to be staying for the first several months of her life. And we have to do some rearranging. So I'm going to kind of show you the plan, show you what we're working with currently, and then um, we will see how much we can get done today. But we have to take down all of my books. We're moving my bookshelves to the other side of the room and um, it's a little bit daunting. I will not be moving the bookshelves. I'll see what I can do. Uh, my husband's gonna actually move them. Hopefully they're not, I don't think they're like too, too heavy. I'm gonna take all the books off. That's, that I can do. Um, but he's gonna actually move the bookshelves to the other side of the room because we are gonna put a dresser here which we have to build, it's from Ikea. Um, and then the bassinet is also gonna go over here because this is like my side of the bed. So if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And let's go ahead and get started. So here are my bookshelves. These are from Ikea. They are the Billy bookcases. I have one of the larger ones and two of the smaller ones. We're gonna take off all of these books. We're gonna move them over here. I am gonna do a bit of a book declutter slash book unhaul. I forget what the bookish community calls it, but it's basically a declutter. <laughs> As you can see, I have um, too many books to fit properly on my bookshelves, so we have to go through those. We're gonna clean everything. My husband is gonna actually move the bookshelves from this wall over to this wall. We'll probably have to move this mirror and this basket, but this is where the bookshelves are going to go. And then over here we have a dresser from Ikea to build, and then the bassinet is also gonna go over here. So I'm gonna have to clean up this corner, but this is just kind of my catch-all, I pretend it doesn't exist corner for now. <laughs> so that's just a whole separate project, but um, we're gonna go ahead and start by removing all of these books and putting them on our dresser over here. We have the first bookshelf empty, as you can see, and there is so much dust and dog hair. I don't know, it's probably gonna be hard to see. Maybe it's not, I don't know. <laughs> but this is like, oh my God, it's so bad. So those are definitely gonna have to be cleaned. Um, here's what the book pile is looking like. I'm literally just like taking them off and stacking them here. So now I think I'm gonna do the other small one and then We'll do the large one last. The second bookshelf is officially empty. Now we just have the third bookshelf. I don't think, well, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough space. I'll have to stack these books up higher, but hopefully we can fit the rest of these books over here on this dresser. Thank you. 
we are down to our last shelf my books are <laughs> piled high over here plus there's like stacks behind that you can't even see so um yeah we gotta just do these hardcover books and then we'll kind of do a wipe down of the shelves then i want to actually like vacuum and clean over there so we're not putting the shelves on top of like a dirty floor and then um, I'll do like a deeper clean, make sure everything is nice and dusted. And then also make sure the books are dusted because there's still a lot of dust on them, even though I kind of dusted them as I was taking them off. So the mirror is moved as well as the basket. <laughs> there's a ton of dog hair and dust over here. Um, as you can see, we have a black uh, pit bull mix, mixed breed. <laughs> We have a poncho and his hair gets everywhere um, so we have to vacuum quite often but um, we're gonna go ahead and give this a deep vacuum um, this is our vacuum we got it from Costco when we first moved into this house or I need to empty out this vacuum <laughs> it's from shark we really like it um, I don't have any complaints We've had it for about a year and a half now, and it's worked really good. And then we're gonna Swiffer, um, like mop after as well. So I'm also gonna try to move that dresser. I might need Jarvis's, Jarvis's help to move the nightstand, but I wanna vacuum all up under there as well. So we moved the bookshelves from over here to over here. So here's what it looks like. Obviously they are not lined up perfectly and there's no books on them yet, but those are there. Um, I think the mirror is gonna have to go here. Um, it's gonna be maybe a little bit of a tight fit, but it'll definitely work. And then I'm gonna have to figure out what to do over here because the dresser is 63 inches so it takes up like a good chunk of this wall it can't get too close to the door because then it you know blocks the walkway to the bathroom um, but the bassinet also has to fit over here so I might have to do something about my nightstand I'm not sure yet what is gonna happen or how this is going to work. I'm not sure if I slide my nightstand like all the way to the wall, will the bassinet fit this way? Hopefully, I don't know, I'll have to do some measurements. I have a an Ikea tape measure here, so maybe I'll see if that will work because otherwise it's gonna be a tight fit, so we will see what we can do. So we have a slight change of plan. After doing some measurements, we realized that it's gonna be a really tight fit if we put the dresser in here and the bassinet. So we're gonna put the dresser in the nursery. We initially wanted it in here just for like those first few months while she's in here, um, like at night because of convenience, obviously, um, but I think that it's gonna be more of an inconvenience with how tight and like awkward and having to move things out of the way to open drawers is gonna be. <laughs> so the dresser is gonna go into her nursery, which is always the plan. We just thought we would move it in there when she like moves in there to sleep at night. Um, so the bookshelves are staying where we moved them to on that side of the bed. Um, we're gonna put the bassinet here and then you know it like has wheels on it so it can roll like close to the bed um and then the mirror will go here the full length mirror and then i should have room to keep my little cart over here we'll have diaper changing essentials we just know that um you know <laughs> it's nice to have a changing station close by when you're you know waking up at 2 a.m 4 a.m 6 a.m whatever 
to feed and change diapers as opposed to walking across the house to do that but um, we can still do that in here we just will have her like permanent changing setup in her nursery as opposed to in here even though it was going to be a temporary solution hopefully that makes sense so now we have all of these books that we have to go through i'm gonna do like i said a little book declutter i'm gonna go through them all and i'll show you guys kind of like what I'm keeping and what I'm decluttering. Um, I was thinking about doing like one of those book selling websites like Pingo Books or something like that for the books that I purchased that I am getting rid of. So we'll see. I don't know if you guys have recommendations, let me know. But we wiped down the shelves with some spray. I vacuumed them off first and then I wiped them down with some um, spray and paper towel just to make sure they're super clean. So we're gonna put the books back on there as we go through them. Here's an update on the bookshelves. They're definitely not perfect, but they are pretty much put together. So I'll kind of do a run through of the shelves. Here we have my Anna Todd after series books. We have Tessa Bailey, um, Anna Huang and Krista and Becca Ritchie, L. Kennedy. We have Jenny Han, Jenny Proctor, as well as the Heartstopper series. And then down here we have Pretty Little Liars, Lauren Asher, um, the Me Before You series, and then some Samantha March books. Here we have my Colleen Hoover shelf. And then we have sort of like a rainbow situation, which this needs to be like, you know, refined, but it's generally sort of in the, in the right order. So we have like peaches, pinks, reds, into yellows, uh, greens, and then into blues, into darker blues, purple, white, gray, and then like black covers for the most part. And then down here we have hard covers as well as a few like miscellaneous non romancy ones that kind of were awkward shapes, either really small or really large. <laughs> and then this one over here has my Crave books. Um, then we have Twilight, as well as The Host by Stephanie Meyer. We have Sophie Lark. We have Harry Potter and um, the Percy Jackson series. Then we have Vampire Diaries, Maze Runner series, as well as a few Vampire Academy books. And then we have Jarvis's little bookshelf down there as well. <laughs> so now he has his own little shelf. Um, so... Everything is on the shelf, which is great. Um, everything fits. There's obviously, I had made a little bit of room. So let me show you all of the books that I'm getting rid of. Um, so here we have just a bunch of books that either I have duplicates of, or I just don't see myself reading them anytime soon, or they're scary books that <laughs> I don't want to subject myself to, that kind of thing. It's a variety of different things, but um, here is just like kind of an overview. I would say there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23-ish books. So um, can't be mad at that. Um, here's what this is looking like. And um, the mirror is going to move. It's going to be right here, like I said. But first, I want to clean out my little corner area. We have to build the bassinet. Um, so that'll kind of go over here. And then the mirror will be here. And that way, we won't be blocking pathway anywhere. And 
um, it'll just be a little bit more you know make a little bit more sense so this has to be cleaned off there's dust everywhere <laughs> from all of the books um, but things are looking pretty good. All right, so it's been a few days. Um, I have some updates to share with you. Um, you can see one of them right here. <laughs> um, we worked until really, really late. We basically took apart our entire bedroom, did a super deep clean, and I was just really tired. It took a lot out of me that day, so I had to call it for the night. Yesterday was football day. Today is Monday, so we are starting things up again. Um, also, please ignore this situation. We don't have cable, so we were trying to watch our local uh, Jaguars football game, so we had to use this like antenna thing. <laughs> And um, it worked out great and uh, these are really inexpensive so I'll maybe link something like this if you don't have cable and you're looking for some local channels um, yeah <laughs> very random um, but let me show you guys what the room is looking like so our bed is only it's literally like half made poncho is acting a little bit weird <laughs> his ears are tucked because it's thundering and raining outside so um, yeah it's okay Pancho. that's a good boy <laughs> um so when you walk into the room this is now kind of what you see so obviously the bookshelves are over here now the mirror is here and i think it's gonna stay here i, I like it here it looks good here uh we did push back the books like towards the back because these two shelves were leaning forward and when they lean forward they lean towards the bed, which is just a little bit scary. So um, until Jarvis like anchors them at the top, they those books are pushed back. Um, but the bookshelves are looking nice, loving this whole situation. I wasn't sure how it was gonna look, but I think it looks really good. We literally took out the nightstands, we lifted up our mattress, moved the bed frame all over the place, vacuumed, there was lots of dog hair. We did a deep clean, like I said. Um, we have our bed, and then over here, we have our bassinet. We built the bassinet. Actually, Jarvis built the bassinet. Um, I will have the one that we have linked down below. It's from Amazon. Poncho was a little bit confused by it. I think he still is, but we wanted to have it built like early enough so that he could get used to it. So we're gonna do the same with like the stroller and stuff like that, just so that our transition <laughs> bringing a baby home to a dog is as smooth as possible that's going to be a journey in and of itself um but yeah we have the bassinet here i'm so excited about it it has um a ton of like adjustable heights and it also has this like storage basket underneath i loved the colorway this is the one that we registered for my aunt and uncle got this for us uh for our baby shower which was so nice of them um so yeah it's pretty big too i liked how big it was and how tall the railing was i felt like um she should be able to be in here safely for a while so yeah this is our bassinet um we have this little cart over here this is going to be like a diaper changing situation, a postpartum situation, you know, nursing, that type of thing. So all that junk on there is going to be moved somewhere else. Um, but all of this is deep cleaned. I'm currently exporting a video, so that's why I have my laptop up like that. But I'm so excited. This is all nice and clean besides the antenna, which is not permanent and that is going to be put away ASAP. But yeah, we made the final decision to not have the dresser in here because it's just not going to fit. The dresser would go like up until this point, which is definitely going to impend on the walkway to the bathroom. So let me know if you guys have any ideas for decorations or anything. <laughs> like, I don't know, like how can we make this look less bare? Like, I, I like that there's going to be space for the bassinet to like roll around and move but i feel like the wall is bare but i also don't want to hang anything that's like has a risk of falling <laughs> so let me know if you guys have any ideas on how to make this look cuter um but yeah that's pretty much it for our nesting part one our bookshelf reorganization slash 
first piece of baby furniture that we put together. I haven't done a bump update in a while, <laughs> so I figured I would do one here for you. Here is my, my bump. My 30, almost two week bump. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely insane. My belly feels huge and um, yeah, she's definitely taking up some space in there. So that is this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.